Hi guys, welcome to yet another episode of Learning Perspectives. In today's episode, we will understand the concept about chaos theory. And this is through a movie called Jurassic Park. Please watch this scene very carefully. Uh, see, the Tyrannosaur uh, uh, doesn't have any set patterns or, or, or park schedules. It's the essence uh, of chaos. Still not clear on chaos. Oh, oh, it, 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 it uh, simply uh, deals with uh, predictability in complex systems. The shorthand is the, the butterfly effect. A butterfly can flap its wings in Peking, and in Central Park you get rain instead of sunshine. Why? <laughs> <laughs> did I go too fast? I go too fast. I did a flyby. No, give, me, give me that big glass of water. I'll show you. We're going to conduct an experiment. It should be still. The car's bouncing up and down. But that's okay. It's just an example. Now, put your hand flat like a hieroglyphic. Right? Now, let's say a drop of water falls in your hand. Which way is the drop going to roll off? Over which finger or over the thumb or the other side? Thumb. Let's see. Uh huh. Okay. 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 Now freeze your hand. Freeze your hand. Don't move. I'm going to do the same thing. Start with the same, same place again. Right. Which way is going to roll off? Let's say back. Yep. Same way. Same, same way. Same back. Same way. <gasps> change. The change. Why? Because tiny variations. Uh, the the orientation of the hairs on your hands. Yeah. Hey, look at this. Um, the amount of blood distending your vessels, imperfections in the skin. Imperfections in the skin. Microscopic, microscopic, and never repeat and vastly affect the outcome. That's quite unpredictability. Right. There. Look at this. See? See? I'm right again. Nobody could have predicted that Dr. Grant would suddenly, suddenly jump out of a moving vehicle. Alan? Alan? There's uh, another example. <laughs> See, here I'm now by myself. Uh, uh, now, the scene that you just saw is um, a conversation between Dr. Malcolm and Dr. Ellie in the movie. Now, the intention of Dr. Malcolm is to basically flirt with Dr. Ellie. <laughs> but, but here, uh, in the process, he's explaining a very important concept. And that concept is of unpredictability or chaos theory. Uh, he mentions that if a butterfly flaps its wings in Central America, there is um, rainfall in Central Asia. Now, this is the basic underlying principle of chaos theory. And he conducts an experiment just to prove his point. So he uh, takes a hand and does a water experiment where he puts a drop of water on her hand. Uh, the first time the water drops vertically from her hand, uh, which was pretty normal. And he asks her, what do you think would happen the next time when he does the same thing? So she mentions it would, the water's trajectory would remain same. He does this again, but this time the water falls on the other side or the drop of water falls on the other side of her hand. Now, why did this happen? So he mentions this happened because of the tiny variations such as uh, uneven skin or the blood vessels running or hair on her skin could be one of the other reasons that he mentions. In this particular episode, we will try to deconstruct what exactly is chaos theory and what are its implications. Academically, Chaos theory is used in variety of subjects. Uh, some of them are maths, physics, chemistry, bio, uh, economics, finance. Uh, these are some of the subjects and its applications are even wider. So this can be used in stock markets, equilibrium, uh, market positions, weather, uh, mathematical models, psychological changes. Uh, these are some just few of them that I'm naming here. Now, how did it all start and what is the uh, starting point? First experiment was done by someone called Edward Lawrence. Now, he wanted to recreate a past weather pattern. So he started taking in some variables such as um, speed of the wind or temperature and so on. And once he started doing this, he started plotting it on a graph. And so there was a rise and fall that can be equally measured and seen. Now, there was a very, very tiny difference that is almost less than a decimal point differences there, right, that were input. Uh, 
but what he saw and discovered later was that there is there has been a major change because of that there has been a major change in the output right and uh, this was the very first thing which spoke about chaos theory and this tiny changes or variation that was noted by edward lorenz also happens in our daily lives now when i come to psychological part of it uh, it shows that very very small tiny changes that you make today might have a very high impact on you in future now what do i mean by that um for example let's take an example we all do this to become a better version of ourselves we generally tend to take on better habits a lot of times we decide that we might uh, take up a habit for 20 to 30 days just to rewire our brain because they say that your brain gets rewired in 21 days but let's say that you decide to go to a gym for 21 days after almost 5 days you will hit a level of resistance right there would be some resistance where on the 6th day you might think i can't do this anymore i don't want to do this anymore let me take an easy way out and this is the brain talking to you um and let me do something else right uh now this very resistance in this time period you might have some uh choices to make now this choice this choice can either be uh going back to sleep and not going to the gym second it could be just browsing your phone opening various social media and browsing them third just could be uh sleeping <laughs> fourth could be eating or any other choice that you decide to make now in this particular aspect the choices that you make would have an impact on your life itself and that exactly is what a butterfly effect or a chaos theory tells you that a very very small and tiny or maybe seemingly random choices that you make would have a very very large impact on uh output now chaos theory is also seen on the finance aspect of this so uh, on the stock market side as well a lot of people say that stock markets aren't completely predictable and this is where the chaos theory comes in it means that only certain uh, till the certain point the uh, markets are predictable after that point the markets are unpredictable so for example if tomorrow there is an earthquake or a natural disaster you can't predict you might just say that it will fall down by how much by what we don't know again uh, there could be a positive feedback loop here uh, which would make the market go up or make the market go down due to a negatively feedback loop hence approving the chaos theory that even a slight variation can cause a major impact in the output ever think that switching of light or watering the plant or maybe um uh, turning of the tap uh, on whose water is running out can create a huge difference i am here to tell you that it can it would not only help tomorrow's uh, generation but it would definitely definitely create a large change and this is what we just discovered through a uh, butterfly effect did you think that you getting up in the morning and actually going to the gym would create a ripple effect and help somebody not lose his job or get a promotion you did not do so but this these are the unseemingly unrelated events that can happen because you made a choice so please be mindful of the choices that you are making in future my name is gitika thank you for watching today's episode if you liked this episode please like share and subscribe the video don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get regular updates please take care stay safe stay healthy and it's a goodbye Thank you.